Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another quick spell for you guys. I'm actually currently working for two clients. Um, as you guys can see here, we have two glass, <clears throat> two wine glasses here that we're going to be using. Um, so this spell is particularly for those that are looking to entice the relationship uh, this can be used if there's been some type of separation, some type of pulling away. Uh, what this is going to do is going to bring them closer to you in a more amorous way. Uh, they're going to be more subdued to you. So there's going there's an element of domination, um, but not particularly uh, very like in a forceful, forceful way. Uh, what it does, it uh, triggers them. Uh, to think or to constantly be reminded of the positive qualities of yourself or the positive qualities of the relationship. So this could be used, again, like I said, to entice the relationship, to strengthen it. Uh, for others, this can also be used to bring someone towards you, to bring them back to you. Um, it does also help in the removal of any type of animosity, any type of anger. Uh, perhaps things ended in a very bad way. Um, and you're trying to have them open up to you or give you another opportunity, this can also be done for that particular uh, purpose. But ultimately, it's to render them, uh, to open their heart uh, towards uh, seeing you in a loving way. Um, this can also be done uh, to people that you have crushes on, people that uh, perhaps uh, they know you, you know them, but for some reason... Uh, they don't know your feelings or you don't know their feelings. Uh, this can help them give them that little push that they need to open up or perhaps um, to simply give way to them seeing you in a more loving way or uh, to see you in a uh, dating type, uh, quote unquote. So again, this has multiple uses. We're going to be using uh, two of them, like I said, because I am currently working uh, with two different clients and we're trying to remove some type of anger and animosity on one. And on the other, we're trying to lure them back. Um, so that's the reason why we're doing this. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now let's get on to um, the ingredients. Now you guys can see here we have parchment paper. Parchment paper has um, a multitude of uses. Uh, obviously, when it comes to petitions, when it comes to um, being able to uh, get quicker results in regards to your petitions or petitions being taken, especially if you're working with saints, if you're working with deities. Uh, it is always preferred to use parchment versus white paper. Can you use white paper? Absolutely. If you don't have parchment paper, yes, you can use uh, white paper. Again, like I said, um, if you guys are into working with saints or certain specific spirits, then you obviously are aware that parchment paper is almost... Um, as you guys can see, it's kind of transparent. Um, it wets quicker. It uh, absorbs the energies much quicker. And it also is a sign of respect for saints. So um, we're going to be using parchment paper. Again, like I said, can you use white paper? Absolutely. Uh, now, the parchment paper is going to be for um, the information as well as the petition. So uh, that's one of the things you're going to need. Also, you're going to be needing... Uh, some type of spoon, some type of, to be able to move it around a bit. Ideally, though, um, ideally use wood, um, not, uh, what's, not metal or uh, aluminum um, for this particular spell. Also, I do want to mention, um, a lot of you guys ask if, they, if there's a specific moon phase. Uh, most of the videos, when I do say that, you have to do it in, spe in specific moon cycles. Uh, then yes, that it's, that's important. Uh, but for these type of spells, no, moon uh, face does not matter. Um, so again, uh, you can do it in new moon, uh, full moon, uh, waning moon, waxing moon, it doesn't matter. You can do it anytime, okay? Uh, so again, like I said, something to be able to stir. You're also going to be needing a mortar or um, anything that you can use to pretty much dissolve uh, the roux and powder it. I'll tell you um, more about that in a bit. Now you're also going to be needing roux, of course, like I just said right now. Let me show you guys. You can use any type of roux. Um, 
but it will need to be burned as we do have to powder it and use it for the spell work. So uh, rue is one of the ingredients. Now, as you guys can see here, obviously a glass or wine glass um, would be more ideal for this type of spell. You're also going to be needing lavender. Um, it could be any type of lavender, doesn't matter. Um, but of course, the more properties it has of the, uh, this one I believe is ultra blue lavender. Um, <clears throat> again, like I said, it doesn't matter the type of uh, lavender you use, but that is one of the main ingredients. Now, we're also going to be using black uh, tea. Black tea is used uh, to facilitate the anxiousness, uh, to push them and give them that compulsion of wanting to reach out or look for you, uh, mixed with the rue. Uh, rue obviously is a herb that we use highly to remove any type of uh, blockages, any type of resistance, anything that is in the way currently of bringing you guys closer or uh, bringing uh, the relationship to a stronger, I guess, uh, connection. Uh, for those of you guys that are just doing this for a person that you're interested in, um, this will help you. Uh, this will facilitate uh, them being able to see you um, in a more sexual or in a more desirable way. So again, uh, the black tea with the root, very, very powerful. Um, and again, as you guys know, rue is used a lot for Abre Caminos, road blockers, uh, sorry, uh, blockbuster spells, um, open road spells as well. So again, um, mixed and combined together, extremely powerful. Now you're also going to be needing um, brown sugar. Now you can use a brown sugar. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can also substitute it with regular sugar if you don't have brown sugar. Ideally, though, brown sugar is the best. And uh, you're going to be using a black pen, like I said, parchment paper. So with that out of the way, I'm going to be inserting uh, somewhere around this video uh, the process of the burning of sage, not sage, sorry, the burning of rue. Um, and this is a process that we need to do in order to be able to have it like this. I hope you guys can see and once we put it in the mortar what we do is we're going to break it down into powder um, adding the uh, adding the black tea uh, so again uh, I will insert the video somewhere here So you guys can see here, we've been breaking it down on the mortar. Not sure if you guys can see that, um, but it's turning quickly into powder and that's what we're going to be using for this spell. Now the other main ingredient is going to be water. Um, so again, with the sugar, black tea, uh, the rue and the lavender, we're really going to amp this. We're really going to, again, it serves as a removal of any blockages currently keeping your partner or keeping the relationship from moving forward. But as well, it brings a bit of anxiousness, a bit of like um, kind of what coffee does to us, you know, the caffeine. It really triggers us. It makes us hyper. That's what they're feeling, but towards you and wanting to communicate. So this is why this is so effective. So when doing this spell, sorry. Now I know that uh, some of the ingredients are very simplistic. I know that I get emails all the time uh, that you guys do prefer, you know, spells that are a little bit more easy, you know, with herbs and stuff, a little bit more easy to do, uh, but that are still effective. So I know that sometimes I upload videos that are a little bit more for rituals that are a bit, a bit more, um, a little bit more difficult to do for some of you guys. And I completely understand. I hope you guys appreciate that I try to upload 
easy uh, spells as well as more elaborate spells for those of you guys that are either, you know, advanced or that uh, even do this as a profession or that you do this on an everyday basis. So again, I try to give all of you guys, um, I try to give all of you guys, uh, you know, things that you can do that are not necessarily uh, extremely difficult. Um, but I know that some are more advanced than others. So that's the reason why I put up a little bit more elaborate spells as well as more simplistic spells. But either way, still giving you guys and keeping you guys in mind to be able to see rendered results. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. Now let's get on with the spell work. Okay, so like I mentioned to you guys, um, breaking down the uh, burnt rue uh, that is going to help us in this process. And as you guys can see here, it's already been powdered down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding, we're going to be adding some of the black tea. Now, like I mentioned to you guys, um, black tea has a lot of uh, very great, uh, very great and powerful, um, a lot of great and powerful uh, energy. When when with uh, mixed with the rue, it gives it very strong and powerful. Um, it's almost as strong as the tobacco uh, or um, the cigar uh, spell or you know it gives them that anxiousness it gives them that pull that trigger of coming towards you not being able to rest having difficulty sleeping all of that good stuff and obviously that's what we want as well as the rue removing any blockages any anger any animosity that perhaps uh, was experienced throughout the relationship. We want that obviously gone so that they can come towards us in a more loving way um, without any reservations about the past and things like that. So we're going to mix it a bit and now it's ready to be used. I hope you guys can see that. So we're going to set this a bit aside for now. Now we're going to go with the petition. So what we're going to do here with the petition is we're going to write the partner's name. Okay. And their date of birth. So I'm just going to make up a date of birth here. <clears throat> okay. And then right under it, we're going to put our name. First name, last name, and date of birth, you guys. Um, let me, April 6, um, 1969. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. You have your partner's name at the top with their date of birth. And below that, you're going to put your name uh, with your date of birth as well. Now, once that is done, what we're going to do is... Um, obviously because the, you know, the, the packaging of the parchment paper that I get is extremely huge. So I have to cut them down. Uh, so obviously we use scissors, but we want to put as much of our essence and energy towards the spell. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the corners. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this in past videos. And the reason why we do this is again, when we're trying to raise energy or put our intentions and our energies towards everything that is going to go into the spell work, it is very important to connect with your ingredients. This is why uh, consecration of your ingredients, cleansings of your ingredients and um, are very important um, because you're putting your energy, but you're also uh, setting yourself up for focus, for uh, being able to project energy. So that's the reason why we cut the corners. Obviously, like I said, because of it's, it's a big parchment um, stacks that I get. So I cut the corners um, with scissors. So when we're doing the spell itself, we need to cut the corners so that we can put our essence and our energy into the spell work. Very important to do. All right. So it's going to look something like this. Now, obviously, this is for showing purposes. And I have 
um, both my clients informations on each one uh, that is going to go into the spell work okay so again like I said partner's name <clears throat> date of birth then below that you're going to put your first name last name date of birth and you're pretty much set once that is done what you're going to do is you're going to turn the parchment paper to your right three times so this is in a straight position <clears throat> like this okay so i'm going to turn it right three times uh my right i believe it's going to be your left um but when doing this you have to turn it <clears throat> sorry you're gonna have to turn it three times to your right so we're gonna do <clears throat> one two three okay so it's gonna look something like this and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna write down the petition <clears throat> be as simplistic and be as concise as possible so as an example for one of my clients i put in the petition <clears throat> that the partner and you're gonna write down their first last name date of birth um is only thinking of the positive qualities of my client. Um, thinking in an amorous and loving way, reminding them constantly, day and night, of the good qualities and the reason why she's a good partner. Um, that was for one. Now for the second one, uh, it's again to remove um, blockages currently keeping them away. And they are a bit stubborn and narcissistic. So in that in that case, um, so I would put in that uh, in that situation, what I put was the partner's name, first name, last name, date of birth. Uh, they're coming towards my client, first name, last name, date of birth, in a loving way, uh, putting their pride and ego aside, completely crawling back to them, uh, begging them to take them back. So that's what I put in the second. Okay. So you could basically own it, make it, you know, yourself, obviously, make it as personal as possible, but be as concise as possible, okay? No negative things here. You cannot put, um, they don't text me, so I want them to text me more often. No, 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 none of that. You have to be positive, okay? You're only writing down what you want to manifest, okay? Not what you don't want. If you put what you don't want, that's exactly what you're going to get. So keep that in mind. All right, once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper towards you once, then turn it to the right, <clears throat> fold it towards you again, then turn it to the right, then fold it towards you again, and then finally, one last time, towards you again, okay? So it's going to look something like this. Once this is done, we're ready to uh, get started. Okay, you guys, so <clears throat> we are ready to roll. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move this to the side as those are, that was only for our showing purposes. So we're going to start with one of my clients. Um, I've been doing this spell for a while now, and this is the um, last process. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, um, we're going to add some of the, Rue with the black uh, coffee here, not black coffee, sorry, black tea. And you're going to put it in a clockwise, going clockwise. And you're saying out loud, I call upon the spirits or this is the, this is the, the moment where you call upon whatever saint, whatever deity you're working with, that's the one you call or you invoke. In my situation, I am going to say, I call upon all my obedient spirits, spirits that assist me in love and quarrels. Those that speak to me and work with me, please step forward to be able to empower this spell for my client. To render her quick results so that she may see with her very own eyes the power that is bestowed upon you. In perfect trust and in perfect love, blessed be. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to do the other one now. Here, let me do this really quick. I call upon my obedient spirit, spirits. 
and see that she knows that you're there for her. Go and harness the power that is bestowed upon you. Perfect trust, perfect love, blessing be. So we're going to add a little bit more on these, but let me do these really quick. Give me one second. Okay. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding the lavender here. Give me one second. So we're going to do the same thing, clockwise position. Keep in mind, you guys, that it's very important to maintain your focus. Have a clear mind, a clear essence of what it is that you're wanting to bring to the manifestation <clears throat> you guys have to remember that when it comes to spell work <clears throat> it is crucial and very important to maintain that focus to be able to project that onto your spell work so that you may get very quick uh, and effortless results um, a lot of the times you guys ask you know i did this i did that but i didn't get results i don't understand while I'm getting thousands of emails telling me of people that have seen results. Um, all my spells, I try to guide you guys through it. I know a lot of you guys are anxious. A lot of you guys <clears throat> want uh, things to manifest rather quickly. So you guys kind of jump and skip through videos. You're not able to see the full disclosure of that specific spell. So then don't wonder why it doesn't last or why it's not working, you guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm literally giving you guys 15 16 years of experience um in just a 15 or 30 minute video so again um i would be blessed if i was you know in that situation back then um if i just had someone to personalize videos uh just for me and to teach me through it it would have been so much easier um but <laughs> everyone sees things differently so anyways moving on once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce the sugar, okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I like to throw, especially when it's brown sugar, um, sometimes I like to throw it into the refrigerator so they can get kind of like ice, uh, not ice cubes, sorry. Uh, sugar cubes and whenever I add the water and I steer it I can see it dissolve so when you're seeing this putting your mind's eye to the work that you're doing what you're doing is you're literally seeing before your eyes the blockage is being removed okay so that's a little trick that you can um, it helps you amp and it also helps you see things as reality therefore um, there's less resistance and you get quicker results so I'm going to be a bit abundant with the sugar. All right. So once uh, we are set pretty much and we're good to go, we're going to add in the water. OK, 
okay you guys see that the sugar is dissolving and I like to see that because my mind is already seeing it as a reality of that of the removal of blockages. So, forgot to cut this really quick. Okay, Let's see, I see that. How beautiful this looks. Okay, and we do the same for the other. Um, of course, like I said, you guys only have to do one. Don't go doing two. Um, I'm only doing two because I am currently working with two different clients. So again, you're only needing one. Those that like to skip on the videos, I'm sure, are probably going to skip that step. <laughs> They're going to be doing two. That's hilarious, but I don't feel sorry for you. That's what you get. Okay. Okay, my lovely. So now, once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the papers, Okay. <clears throat> so let me start with this one and you're just going to drop it in there okay and with the little steering stick I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to go around it a couple of times in the right position okay I'm gonna do the same for this one okay put it a bit down steer it to the right Okay, and of course I don't need to explain to you guys what the sugar does. Uh, what it does is, <clears throat> I don't need to, but I'm going <laughs> to. It's going to bring to them clarity of mind, but in a loving way. So quote unquote, it's not really clarity of mind, we're manipulating their mind. And with the sugar, what we're doing is we are basically sweetening their mind. We're really putting... Um, only that of good memories, good experiences, good, you know, basically making them remember what were the reasons why they fell for you. For those of you guys that are doing this for a crush, they don't know. So we're going to show them the good qualities <clears throat> that it is for you or for them to be with you. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit more of the lavender on both, okay. All right. And steer it to the right, okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. You guys are going to be so surprised the results you get. Not only surprised, but it smells amazing. Okay, so finally we're going to top it off with the remaining roux and black tea that we have here. Okay. All right, so we're going to give it one last year to the right. Okay. And it is done. Let me toss these out. All right. So it's going to look something like this. <clears throat> All right. It's going to look like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these in our altar or in our workspace, wherever it is that you work your spells. Um, of course, try the best you can to keep this away from people to see this. Okay. Um, one of the things that I get asked often is you know a lot of people you know live with other friends or with family members and they see their spell work and they tell me you know uh pinky they ask me like what is it and some of them tell them others don't you guys need to remember that when it comes to spell work whatever your right hand does your left hand should not know so when it comes to spell work in retrospect you should never allow people um or tell people what it is that you're doing you have to keep in mind that spell work is energy work. So what you're doing is you could have put all your effort and energy towards a spell for a whole hour before even going into spell work uh, just with focusing. And the moment you share that information with someone else and they give you their feedback, whatever it is, whether it's positive or negative, that's going to trigger an effect whatever your spell work or whatever it is that you did towards your spell work. Because remember, 
you're bringing in this energy. So it's your energy. Whatever they do in retrospect, not in retrospect, sorry, um, whatever it is that they tell you or whatever feedback they give you in regards to the spell work is going to have an effect. So again, um, you know, the rule of secrecy is very important. Now, for those of you guys that ask me, well, you know, Pinky, um, you do a lot of spell work for clients. Um, does that law not apply? apply? Of course it does, but I'm not telling you who my clients are, so there is secrecy there. Um, so again, I hope you guys understand the difference between that as well as uh, the importance that it is to keep your works, you know, the less people know, the better, um, the quicker results you get, uh, the less people contribute to their opinions, whether it's good or whether it's negative, it doesn't matter, okay? So you're going to leave this. Um, this uh, has to be left the way it is for 10 days. So uh, this is a 10-day spell, um, but of course, some clients may get results within the next 24 hours. Um, does it mean that uh, one situation uh, or one of you guys did it better than the other? No. But you need to understand that when working with specific people, a lot of the times um, it's not just you and their energy. You're also dealing with the people that are around them as well, that influence them. So for some of you guys, you may see results within 24 hours. Others of you, you may see results within three, four days. Others, you may see results within seven days. If there's a, a, a bit of complexity to the situation or things ended really, really bad, uh, sometimes it takes up to the 10 days to be able to see the results. Will you get results? Absolutely. Don't get discouraged. Everyone gets, you know, very different results depending on not everyone has your same situation. Not everyone um, doesn't have other people around the target or around the partner that influence them. So be patient with yourself. Be focused. Um, spell work is a lot about having faith knowing what you're doing. Of course, the more knowledge you have, the more aptitude you are, the more of an instrument you are to create your own life. That, that, that's without a doubt. Um, but as well, uh, the other part of spell work is having faith and surrendering. You've done what you have to do. Let it go. Don't obsess over it. Don't worry about it. Let things run, you know, let things run their course and you will be very surprised. Okay. So like I said, leave these in your altar or wherever it is that you leave your work uh, space um, or your work, literally, uh, and do not mess with it. Do not uh, add more lavender or add more black tea or add more sugar. Leave it the way it is, okay? Leave it there. Uh, this is, a, like I said, a 10-day ritual, but... Within this process, some of you guys may see quicker results. Some of you guys may see, like I said, results within 24 hours. Once the manifestation has happened, once um, everything is going smoothly, for those of you guys that are trying to bring an ex back and there is a lot of animosity and anger, even if there's point of contact and they reach out to you, let it sit, okay? Let it dry up. Um, don't worry about it. Um, but again, let it dry up. Don't go and toss it out uh, because it's still going to be removing the blockages, okay? You don't want them to come back to remembering why you guys broke up in the first place. Now, for others of you, if things progress very quickly and you there's like a making up or there's a coming back together, uh, them begging you to take them back, etc. Once you're back in the relationship, what you do is you can toss this out in the entrance of your home. Um, for those of you guys that live in apartments, you don't have to do it, you know, as an example, if where you live, it's like a hallway where there's other people, etc. You don't have to do it necessarily outside your door. Uh, you can toss this out at the entrance of your apartment or you could do a trail like, uh, uh, you know, pretty much spreading it all over the entrance going towards the parking lot or whatever. Um, but it does have to be uh it does have to be discarded within the entrance of your home. Obviously, you're trying to pull them towards you. You're trying to bring them to you, okay? Um, you also have the option of um, do not dispose of it, throwing it out, okay? that That's just, don't do that. Um, so again, like I said, toss this out at the entrance of your home. If, if it's too evident, you live with people, uh, you don't have to do it right out of, out of your door. You can do it in, you know, 
when you get to your building, you can do it there, like in the outside of your building. Uh, if it's too evident and you have nosy ass neighbors, uh, then you can just take it to a park and offer it to a tree in gratitude and being thankful for the manifestation that the universe has brought to you. Okay, but in a very grateful and loving way. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to do this video as short as I could. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and comment and share your experiences and the results that you get. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.